Hey guys, Kurt Haas here from Hostile Commissioning, Hostile Gear, and RPS Canada. And I uh, just want to talk a little bit about the um, powerlifting meet we've got coming up in Trenton, May 6th, the uh, Muscle Massacre. Um, I know there's been a couple of posts put up that people are like wondering if it's on or it's off. Listen, it's on guys. You know, we want to see at least 25 lifters. Um, the reason why I want to post this video is for you guys or some girls that are sitting on the fence. Uh, you know, competing will make you better. It's a great meet. Rich is a good guy. It's a great facility. At the end of the day, though, the frustrating part, and I think it's for any promoter, anyone who's putting on any powerlifting meet, and I don't care what federation you're from and all that, it's the people that I saw some comments like, oh, I got two people who are going to sign up. Listen, it's, it's not easy putting a powerlifting meet on of any size. A lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes, a lot of logistics, a lot of planning, a lot of preparation. Stuff that, you know, it's like an iceberg, you only see the top 10%. And it's pretty frustrating when we hear stuff like, oh, you know, we're going to sign up, but, you know, just do it. Just sign up. Help the promoter out. If, you, if it's a meet that you're interested in doing and you want to do, sign up as soon as possible, guys and girls. You know, don't leave it to the last minute. Number two is, and I've said it a million times, this kind of meet is a great meet for the, the first time lifter, the second time lifter, people that want to get some experience on the platform. It's a great time. Anyone who has competed will tell you they should have started competing a lot sooner, a long time ago and stuff. And I'm not here to beg for people to come and compete. That's not what I'm all about. What I want to do is address the people that are sitting on the fence and uh, let people know that you know, you're not helping yourself as a lifter. You're definitely not helping promoters and stuff. And uh, you know, I remember years ago, there was very few meets. It was a lot harder to find meets. You had to drive all the way to Toronto, you had to drive to Quebec City. There was maybe two or three meets a year. And now there's lots of meets, which is fantastic. But help the meet promoters out. If you want to do that meet that's coming up, sign up, guys. Sign up, tell a buddy, bring a friend, encourage someone to come and do it with you and stuff. Because it's that camaraderie and powerlifting that's fantastic. It's building that whole powerlifting tribe, which is great. You know, if you've gone to a meet or competed in a meet, I mean, everybody's cheering for you. No one comes out of a meet not realizing they have a lot to learn or that they learned a lot that day, or they spent a great day doing something they truly love with a lot of other people that have like and similar interest, interests that come from all different walks of life. So, May 6th, push-pull, CrossFit trend, it's happening. Um, you know, get off your ass if you're thinking of competing and just sign up, guys. All right, get it done. You'll be glad you did. And at the end of the day, you'll take that experience and you can build it into the next meet, into your next level of training and stuff. Um, you know, like I said, Rich is doing a lot of work behind the scenes. We're bringing a bunch of stuff up and all that. We're putting a lot of work in for you guys. You know, you might be thinking we're making a million dollars. We're just looking to cover our costs, guys. We're looking to make it so that it makes sense business-wise, but at the same token, put on a pretty cool event for you guys to get experience, have fun, and become better lifters overall. So if you're thinking about doing it, you're sitting on the fence, uh, you know, do it. Coaches, listen, if you got one or two clients that you've been talking about competing and stuff like that, it's your job as a coach to get your client to commit. And I'm, I'm speaking, you know, from experience here. I'm here sitting in the hangar. I just finished a workout. We're closed now. Uh, we train people all the time. And the first thing we tell people when they get into powerlifting, as soon as they got some good technique and they're starting to make progress, sign up for a meet. Commit to a meet. Because the moment you sign up for a meet, the moment you put your name on the line, the moment you draw the line in the sand, your training will escalate in intensity, in seriousness, and so will the results and the gains from it and stuff. There's nothing like it, right? So as coaches, and I don't care what fed, I don't care what competition that you're talking to your clients about doing and stuff, get them to commit. That's what we're all trying to do as coaches, get people to commit to raise the bar for themselves, to push themselves outside the comfort zone, to strive for a goal, to achieve and to acquire new results. That's the job of a coach. Right? So at the end of the day, if you got some people who are sitting there looking to do it and they're hemming and hawing, let's go. Put the hammer down, commit, sign up if you want to sign up for this meet, come out, have a great time, we're going to have a blast, it's always a good time when we're hanging out with Rich, we're going to see some great lifting, we're going to learn a lot, and we're going to have a shit ton of fun. Alright guys, I'll see you May 6th.